Hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm here with a project share. I was watching JP Peggy 2's tutorial on how to make a paper bag card. So I made a couple. This is the first one that I made. I used pattern paper from the Prima Divine paper stack. I used some of the trim that I got at the dollar store and I just grunged it up a little bit with antique linen so it wasn't so white. I distressed all the edges with vintage photo. And I also put the trim from the dollar store down here. I stamped the sentiment with the archival ink coffee color. This little embellishment is called a snow globe sticker. They're Cayenne Company, Susan Wingette. They're really, really cute. There's butterflies and dragonflies and birdies in the in the set. On the tag here, this little sticker comes from that set as well. So just use pattern paper. You can write your little message to whoever on there. And I finished the corners off with my corner chomper. So that's the first card that I made. And then the second card I made, I used a sheet of pattern paper from the tattered, tattered tight. I can't remember. Anyways, same thing. I distressed all the ed uh, edges with the vintage photo. I finished the corners off of the tag with my corner chomper, the scallop one. I added some bling. I added some of the lace trim from the thrift store and I used my Martha Stewart punch on the top. For the sentiment I used Ranger's Archival Ink and Coffee. I put some bling. I fussy cut the flowers out of the paper stuck them down and put a bling center in the middle and then I just layered up a few paper flowers I had in my stash and put a piece of bling in the middle so that's the second one and then just to use up the paper I made a mini one there's a little tag trim from the dollar store again and the embellishment I just layered a couple flowers and Put a piece of bling, I stamped out the flower and the sentiment. And I wanted to put the same kind of bling trim as I did on the big one, but I couldn't find it. I don't know how stuff disappears, but it seems to find a good hiding place and I can't find it. Then I went to the gift bag section in the Dollar Tree when I was shopping the other day and I found these craft colored paper bags. So I altered it. I've seen this down on YouTube. I wanted to give it a try. It's very simple. My daughter's going to a bridal shower, so I made this. She can pop her little gift in it. I used the lace from the thrift store. And I made this homemade flower. I cut the these petals, the lace petals, out with the tattered floral dye. And these leaves are the tattered leaves dye from Tim Holtz. I distressed the leaves with frayed burlap and I added stickles to give it some, some sparkle and some dimension. So that's the gift bag. And then I just made a simple card to go with it. I just layered the pattern paper on it, distressed around the edges with frayed burlap. I used the strip of the lace and then I cut the flower medallion thing out of the lace. I backed it with cardstock and then I popped it up on a pop dot. So it stands out a little bit and the inside is just plain. So she can write her message to the new bride. So that's my project share for today. I hope you leave a comment and subscribe if you wish. Happy scrapping.